Are you tired of having to do this every time you want to tame a dino? Do you want to be able to grow vegetables? My name's Tecorsa and today I'll be showing you how to farm. There are four parts to farming here in Ark. Crop plots, water, fertilizer, and the greenhouse effect. The main part of farming is crop plots. Small crop plots let you grow all of the berry types. The medium crop plots let you grow all the vegetables and the large crop plots let you grow plant species X and Y. Each larger crop plot allows you to grow everything from the smaller crop plots. There's no benefit for growing a crop in a larger plot. You can place the crop plots anywhere on the ground as long as it's flat enough. Seeds can be found rarely from harvesting bushes by hand, except for plant species X and Y, which have their own special type of bush that they are harvested from. Now that you have your crop plots placed and your seeds have been sourced, the next thing you need is water. There are several ways that you can water your plots. The first and most ineffective way is to put a full water skin in the crop plot. While this does keep your plants watered, if you forget to refill the water skin, the plants can run out of water and die. The other way is through irrigation piping. You place a tap nearby the crop plots and make sure the pipes are connected to an intake on the other end and it'll keep your plants watered automatically. You can also use the taps to drink from or to refill water containers. There is also another option to this. You can connect water reservoirs to your irrigation pipe network and you can either fill it manually with water containers, let it collect rainwater, or it can take water in from the irrigation network, as long as there's a working intake. The reservoir can then act as an emergency water source in the event the pipe to the intake is broken. Now that you have water, let's talk poop. Your plants need to be fertilized in order to grow. With no fertilizer available, they will stop growing and producing crops. There are several ways to give them fertilizer. The easiest but least effective way is to throw poop into the crop plot. Raw poop provides the least amount of fertilizer, but it can work if you're just starting your farm. The next way is to use a compost bin to convert the poop into fertilizer. 50 thatch plus 3 poop gives you one fertilizer. This process takes roughly an hour of real time. A better way to do this is to tame a dung beetle and use it to convert your poop into fertilizer and oil depending on the size of the poop. I'll put the rates onto the screen now. This process will take about 15 minutes and can process multiple sizes of poop at the same time. Same sizes of poop are put into a queue and will be processed after the previous one is finished. The last and most weird way is a toilet. The toilet has to be connected to water pipes in order to work. You sit down on the toilet, once you're ready to poop, and press the poop button. Once you flush the toilet, you can retrieve fertilizer from it to use on your crops. One thing to note, you can't transfer poop from your inventory into the toilet. Now that you're using fertilizers, you're growing crops like a champ. But are you really? I mean, what you have will work for now, but let's grow crops with some more style. This last bit will take your farming to the next level, the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect comes into play when you start using the greenhouse walls and ceiling. When a crop plot has the greenhouse effect, it will cause the crops to grow faster, but they still use fertilizer at the same rate, meaning you get more crops for the fertilizer consumed. Each piece of greenhouse used gives a 15% boost, however greenhouse walls will only give the effect if there's a greenhouse ceiling above them. The 
effect caps at 300%, which means the crops will grow at four times the normal speed. It only takes 20 pieces of greenhouse wall and ceiling to achieve this, which is enough to make a 3x3 greenhouse. Here's some tips for you while building your greenhouse. Determine how many crop plots of what size you want in the greenhouse to determine how large it needs to be. So I wanted four of each of my advanced crops in this greenhouse. So I wanted 16 large crop plots. So 16 fits rather nicely in here. Also, um, I'm using S plus, so the crop plots are snapping to the foundations. That's why they went down so easily. Now I also have room down in the middle as sort of an aisle, but I can also throw down some other crop plots if I wanted to. Also, another thing. You want to lay out your irrigation before you decide, or before you actually build the greenhouse. These walls and are expensive and you probably don't want to break them. That's why I'm recommending this. So the easiest way that I've found to do this to line up your irrigation system is to put down a wood foundation and you can use that to line up your pipe. So I can look at this and tell that, tell when my pipe gets straight. So if I step off of here, oh, this is difficult. But yeah, it does not snap. You have to line it up manually. Let's see, you can use the planks of the wood foundation to line it up and drop it in. And now, when I come inside, oops, these should span the links. And now that, I, now that I have this down, I can bring in my taps. and drop them in and now it'll water all around where these taps are at and then I can fill back in my stone foundation so there we go you can't even see the piping it just kind of runs out the side and then clips underneath your uh, foundations but from there I would take it out, then angle it down, then drop it straight down, and attach the intake down there in the swamp. And just to show you that it can be done, the intake will snap to the end of here, so it should snap to whatever is down there, and it'll pipe water back up and into here. Okay, so instead of using the straight metal pipe here, I could have used a cross pipe and then just run the input over to the other side and drop that in and now I can put the tap over here now and I could have another cross here in the middle if I really needed to but that's all I have for this video. If you have any questions about farming or need clarifications about anything, make sure you leave a comment down below. But otherwise, if you liked the video and it was helpful for you, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe for all my video updates. Thank you guys so very much for watching and have yourselves a very good day.